64,000 Ukrainians have uh, arrived in our country and my department are providing um, providing accommodation to about 40,000 of those. And then the other crisis is in the area of international protection. So these are people fleeing war, fleeing conflict from other parts of the world. We've also seen a significant increase there. Uh, this time last year, we had about 8,000 people in the direct provision system. Now it's up to 15,700. A total of 118 hotels are being used now as accommodation for refugees and asylum seekers. If my figures are correct, that's one in seven hotels in this country. There's only 830 hotels in Ireland. Is this a short-term solution or, or what's the long-term plan here? Because surely you can't keep using hotels. It's a significant uh, part of the, of, of the, I suppose, the raw number of hotels. I think when you look at maybe beds, it, 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 it's, a, it's a smaller percentage of the overall beds. But that's, uh, you know, it, it is significant. Uh, and I think it's... Uh, recognition of the fact that we have an ongoing housing crisis in Ireland and we were you know working to ensure that our response to the crisis in Ukraine and our response to the 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 the, the, the wider crises that's leading to people seeking international protection here that that wouldn't impact on our ability to de to deliver social and affordable housing and that's been a key driver in us using hotel accommodation so for example Ukrainians can't apply for social housing they can't apply for HAP it was seen as uh, you know an important thing to do recognizing the housing crisis to I suppose separate the accommodation approaches